Welcome to Trading Lounge and the US stocks for the 5th of September. I should have done this video yesterday, but um, that's okay. Here we go. There's nothing really important in this particular video. Um, as you know, with the 130 odd stocks that we're sort of going through alphabetically, and I am just getting used to uh, a feel of you know what, what these wave counts are within our stocks. So uh, nothing really important here to do today, but just getting familiar with uh, with these stocks. So um, with this particular stock here, we can count one, two, three, four, five up through here. I'm not worried about this particular spike. I don't know if it's computer generated or um, it was actually something or other, but I can count from here as one and two here and one and two and three and four and five for the third wave, ABC for the fourth and up for the fifth here and then I can count one, two, three, four, five down through here. So we'll see see a rally back up to above the, this is a medium level here, halfway between two major levels at $6.50, unusual number, but uh, it always plays out quite nicely. Um, so let's go into this, but see, we're not really interested until it comes down into this space here in this particular leg here, which will also have five waves in it. So just on the four hour chart here, Oops, haven't updated this but that's okay we can do that so wave one here there's a nice impulse wave down here nice abc here i can see that this stock has got uh you know gets a bit spiky on things so i'm not really going to pay too much attention to those spikes i can see without the spike here i can see a nice one two three four five here for that so that fits nicely so there's a trouble with some of the stocks that are not uh uh, the volume's slightly low on them. Now, this particular move down here has probably got further to go down here as well. Um, that would leave the 61, 50, 60% retracement level back up probably in this space. I'll put it just up here a little bit to meet supply just at that point. I'll just double check that um, as well at that point. So at that point that is 61.8% but I think it's got to drop down here further at least probably to 4, 540 or something. But anyway. not to worry it doesn't just it's here nor there and then we'll look for the corrective rally here which will be the b wave here and that can come down through here and this might get bigger and uglier but um this is where it's sort of at at the moment so we'll just uh not interested in in any of this really at this stage and then we'll see five waves uh, down in this space here for that. Uh, the 61.8% will be down here a little bit further. We should put that, copy that, put that there as wave five as a reference point there. And I'll just save that. Um, Computer Gen is the next uh, stock uh, here for that. Um, well, in fact, this stock here is, is basically... Um, uh, it's, it works with uh, blood supply uh, and aims to become a global uh, blood products company based in California. So obviously the lifeblood of the human being, so that's important. And Computer Gen, which we'll be looking at next here, that's this one here. So this is a um, predictive drug discovery and development company. Um, actually, it's based in Israel, this company. Um, I'm just going to go to the daily chart here first. Now, look, I'm, uh, once again, this market's correcting, so it, it doesn't really matter that much at this stage, but I still haven't figured out the wave structure for this at the moment. So we could count it up as wave one and two here, and then one here, an A and a B and a C for wave two here, but we very rarely get expanded flats at this degree of structure uh, as a wave two. So, and then looking at this as wave one here with a complicated wave two, that doesn't really ring true for me either. Um, so I'm thinking that, um, I'm actually thinking that would, if I, I'm kind of just going to leave it a little bit, but uh, let's just copy this here. I'm thinking of one and two here, and then three here, and then an A and a B and a C and a D and an E wave coming in here for wave four and going up for wave five. Now, if that's the case, then we're going to have a deeper correction 
um, at this point, which will be down here for this. There is five waves in this first section here, but I'll put that in here. So it has the possibility to drop a lot further in this instance so it can come down to the ten dollar mark but i don't know that yet either so it's there's not enough information in here to to work with this so far so um, i'm not that fussed about it i can see that it's got five waves in this first move here and then a correction here this one here doesn't seem to be finished just yet as five waves down here so it's probably got further to go um, I'm not interested in, in shorting it this will be a, uh, a stock that will be for portfolios but we do need to find the bottom of it and we'll need to find um, where it's up to fundamentally within its uh, sector as well so um, Selectus is the uh, next uh, stock here. Let me put that in here. This is also traded on the uh, Euro net as well. It's a a French biopharmaceutical uh, company uh, in the geno editing space. Uh, so up there with um, with CRISPR. Uh, let me just go to the daily chart here for this. So also with this too, I, it looks like it's wave one up here. Um, and it does appear to be a corrective move here. Uh, if, that, if, if I've got this right here, then this will be one, two, three, four, five down here for wave two here. And then we'll look at it here. But even when it gets here, we'll still need to bank some evidence here. And that means that we would need to see a nice, clean... Uh, impulse wave to the upside and then a pullback as such and then we can look to um, move into that over over this side over here so it's a way off yet but um, like I said we're just doing a little bit of gardening here and keeping an eye on things um, actually we are looking at CRISPR today um, but I've just got I wonder why I've got that one there first, though. Not to worry. Um, I'll do CRISPR first, actually. That way they're in the same space. I'll rearrange those. So, daily chart, CRISPR. Um, up from the low here, I was looking at one and two here, and one and two here, and then moving up here. Uh, for this impulse wave, um, you, you can see that we've got one, two here and three here and four here. And this is one and two and three and sharp drop for four must have been some news or something that just sort of put it out of skewed it a little bit. But still a nice wave, one ABC for two here. And then one and two, nice strong third wave up here, fourth wave and fifth wave. So we can look at this here for that top there as wave three. We'd been talking about this stock before. I mean, um, I just think this is one of the, this would just be a great stock. Um, we just just that's moved it's moved way past its um way past its uh 38.2 percent retracement level here not to worry about that too much we'll just see how this floats here what i really want from this space here is i want to see a classic trading levels pattern so let's just imagine for a moment this 100 area here one's the strongest number in the market to me psychologically speaking and it's a major trading level so if this is 100 here we've had the arrival here and then we're seeing the reaction here so we want to see the first high above the level and then we want to see this correction here and then we want to see it sit on the level over here so in that instance it's had the uh, arrival and the reaction here uh, this is the pattern that we're looking for here in a nutshell. So we should see this push up uh, into this space here as wave five, and then an A and a B and a C wave here. And then we'll see this move up again at that point. So as a portfolio buy, that would be okay in this particular space here. Let me just pull that apart a little bit, see where we're up to with that. Okay, this is what we were expecting anyway, so we don't need any of this now. That was the rough pathway we were looking for, and that's played out quite nicely. Um, I need to look at it on the tick chart, um, but what we could do, 
I just don't think it would, if it's going to drop further, it's not going to drop much further. I mean, it can be one and two and three and four and five. That can be the low in here. Put that right on there, but I'm not sure about that just yet. And I'm not that concerned about it. I want to see a, a bullish move come into the to the NASI anyway, but um, we can put that here um, and we'll see how we go for that, that fifth wave here. But it could certainly drop a little bit further there, but I'm not that focused on it at the moment. Just going through my watch list, just looking at these. So the next one is sales, sales sorry, excuse me, salesforce.com. And you pretty much know what that is. It's, well, if you have a website, you'll know what it is. And we, most of us get webs, uh, get emails from it. So it's a San Fran, California, um, customer relationships management service, um, basically a uh, sales funnel, so to speak. Um, so we'll be looking at this here as a wave four pullback that we've been looking for because we can see that there's a nice third wave. When you see big gaps, mostly the third wave. So you can imagine wave one and two and three in here, four here and five here. So it's already at a 38.2% retracement level, but wave fours can get a little bit um, dodgy. It does look like there's actually five waves in this little structure here. So that means that we would see a little B wave back up to supply levels coming through. All those opens and closes are there. Always keep an eye on that. That's where a lot of volume is always turned over. So from that point, we can also come back down before we move up again from that point there. So we move that. And what's next? Um, crowd strikes. So, uh, CrowdStrike. So this is a cyber secu security technology company. And let me just go to the hour, uh, this four hour chart. Let's go to, I'm only using the daily and the four hour going through because I don't want to make, I need to get through a lot of stocks, but I need, uh, at the same time, I also need to, um, to keep the video, you know, reasonably short. So we can look at this. Just quickly here. <coughs> I mean, having this, um, some of these stocks that we're looking at, like from the March lows here, and a lot of them we can count five waves to the upside here. So it's probably a good case for some of the um, indices, you know, the S&P 500 and the NASI and, and, and the other ones to be doing a bit the same, actually, having that, a top in place. So we'll see. But we still need to get a nice impulse wave to the downside here in this case. So in most cases, so I'll just go back to this four hour chart here. I mean, it looks like one and two and three and four and five here. So back into 138, 140, well, anywhere from 135, 135 to 140 here. And then we should see another move down at that point before seeing a move up at that point. But as always, that, that second high here, that actually creates a long trade at that point. You have to wait for it to come in and you have to wait for this to pull back here because it may only pull back halfway and then... Uh, and then push up again from here. But that high there, that becomes, and this is, you know, the thing is at the moment, um, all let's say most of the markets are, go are going through this particular um, move down in their own ways, not all of them, but a lot of them. And we're looking for an A wave, a B wave, and a C wave to come into play. In some cases, we may just have an A and a B and a C here, and they could just come up. So um, getting that second high here on the B wave is is important uh, as a as a as a catalyst and trigger to uh, head further to the um, to, to 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 the upside. So um, yeah, so that's where that is at the moment. We can leave that. And the last stock we're looking at is Castle Biosciences. So. Let's just put this in here for that. 
and Castle Biosciences offers diagnostic tests that provide actionable tumour-specific information for improved treatment decisions and patient outcomes. So um, it uh, is certainly a disruptor, innovated stock here. Um, let me just get this on the daily chart here first. So this is all the data. This is when this company must have come in I'd imagine I'll, I'll double check on that but um, I don't have any more data than this for it so based on that I can count one and two and three and four here for this and up for five so one ABC for two here and then counting this up through here um, it's a bit of a scruffy dog the old this particular um, you know price action in through all of this um, so taking that into account, I still can see that we've got one and two and three and four here and going up for five here. So got a couple of spikes in, in here that we need to basically accommodate. So I'm just going to go to the four hour chart here for that. And I'm counting it like this here. So we've got this spike here. These spikes are still in the same is, are in the zone this one this one is sort of busted out of it but I'm thinking that we've got wave one and two in here and then one and two but I could be wrong with that because if I if I just ignored all of that all of that downward spike and that upward spike then we'll just have wave one and two here so that's something that I need to work out but this so this could actually be the top here for this one so I'll just and also not that it not that it matters too much at this point because um we are at number five, and five to me is the second strongest number in the market relating to the trading levels concept. So here we would see um, uh, that we wouldn't buy this until the 50 became the support, or we could see that uh, we had a nice classic trading levels pattern that was sitting here somewhere as like this here. And we could see that this was an impulse wave here. Then we could move in just here and, and move move up. But otherwise, we'd be looking for something like this over here. Um, so we're not there yet. This is this is a place to take profit, not a place to buy. Because we want the you know this is the this is the accumulation process. This is the distribution process. This is the accumulation process. So then we want to move into the distribution process, and it's not there yet. So in terms of timing, we're not on the money uh, as yet. So, alrighty, I'm just going to leave it at that, and uh, thank you for uh, the support and tuning in. Much appreciated. Cheers.